Well, folks, it is finally happening. Nikola Motors is about to go bankrupt within the next 12 months. The company that raised so much hopium around the hydrogen industry, which we all know is a complete dead end, is about to face potential Chapter 11 protection over the next 12 months as the company realizes that they are a cash burning business with absolutely no future in the zero emissions industry. The company has failed to launch any successful product, deliver any product to the market, and clearly their hydrogen business is a complete failure. Not only have they failed to produce any prototypes of their hydrogen electric truck, but all of them are just complete pushers. They don't even work by themselves. Don't trust any of the employees, third party reviewers, or logistics companies that have actually tested out their trucks. All the footage you're seeing right now is complete CGI. This is all being done to raise money from poor investors to help feed the top 1% of the executive management. And it's pretty clear that people have realized the BS the company has been spewing. As a result, in this video, I want to go over all the fraudulent activities that this company has been doing over the past few years and explain to you exactly why you should be completely rooting against this company. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. As I'm sure you guys already know, climate change is a complete hoax. There is no such thing as global warming and all the investments we're seeing in zero emissions technology, clean tech and climate change is just a way for the government to make the top 1% even richer. There is absolutely no reason you should be supporting a business that is trying to reduce emissions because obviously it is a way to scam out the retail investor and the consumer at best and help raise fraudulent cash. And it's pretty clear to me that Nikola Motors is just another one of those uncalled for schemes. Their Coolidge, Arizona facility is just a warehouse where they're assembling trucks that are provided from their JV partner, Iveco from Germany. None of these trucks are actually real. They don't move under their own power. Instead, all the footage and B-roll you see on screen is them being rolled down a hill. The people that are reviewing these trucks and working on them are mostly paid spokespersons from the company and third party reviewers who are compensated by Nikola to give a positive feedback on the truck. Not only that, but anybody who test drives these trucks is very adamant at saying just how poor the build quality is and how bad the driving experience is. The trucks make absolutely no noise, have no emissions, but as we all know, the diesel industry in the US accounts for a very, very small portion of total NOx and CO2 emissions, which means a product like this is completely unnecessary. In fact, the demand for electric semi trucks is so bad that even California is introducing incentives that are completely fraudulent, intended to bring these trucks to 50% of their share by 2035. And it's pretty clear to me that the nascent green hydrogen industry for which Nikola is trying to develop a fuel cell electric truck is a complete scam and is actually going to take away jobs and is witnessing absolutely zero investment from government and private companies. I mean, not only do these hydrogen trucks take an egregiously long amount of time to fill up of almost less than 15 minutes, which is much slower than charging your truck overnight, but the infrastructure and market size for hydrogen trucks is only expected to grow by 41% year over year until 2033. And at that time, it is forecasted that the hydrogen fuel cell truck market is only going to be worth around 120 billion dollars, which is obviously pennies compared to what Nikola Motors' business is worth today. And the worst part is that Nikola's first so-called product, the Trey Battery Electric, is already taking away jobs from the valuable trucking industry by apparently autonomously driving itself on the highway. This clearly increases driver comfort, reduces stress, and potentially increases driver retention, which is completely bad for the trucking industry, as a result, raising more concerns around the business. And if it hasn't been clear already, making an electric Class A truck is really not that hard. 
That's the big reason why more than 100,000 of these are already on the roads in the US from other manufacturers like Freightliner, Peterbilt, and even Tesla. Clearly, the market is already there, and Nikola's startup product is going to make a very little dent in this market if they can even sell one of these, which so far they have not. I mean, just look at how well the Tesla Semi is doing, which was announced more than six years ago and is already starting to break down on the side of the highway. This is clearly a driver retention feature to allow the truck to recharge on the side of the highway, increasing its range and reducing mileage on the odometer. Because obviously uptime is of no concern in the trucking industry. Tesla Semi is so great that they had to even recall their defective brake module to improve its efficiency and reduce the stopping power of the vehicle for a total of 35 trucks that were affected, which is clearly way above the target of trucks that Tesla had set out to sell back in 2017. And it's pretty clear to me that if the world's largest automaker is so easily able to mass produce and scale up a class eight electric truck, then Nikola Motors, which has less than one tenth the resources available at its discretion, should also be able to do this with complete ease. And guess what? A 100% verifiable source just told me on Twitter that Nikola's 100 sale order milestone is completely fake. All these agreements are non-binding because they actually went through verified dealer networks that Nikola is working on, which also happen to sell other trucks from verified OEMs. And even though Nikola did meet most of its obligations it set out in 2022, it missed on the most important part, which it completely had all control over, which was delivering 300 to 500 production tray BEVs to dealers. This metric is 100% not affected by any interest rate hikes or macroeconomic slowdowns that we've been witnessing in the economy because obviously demand for electric trucks goes up regardless of infrastructure related bottlenecks or supply chain. And clearly we've seen so many other OEMs like Tesla sell hundreds of thousands of these trucks already on the market. And because the stock market is 100% correlated to the real time performance of a business, Nikola's share price tumbling to an all time low is a surefire red flag for investors, employees and partners who want to work with this business in the future. But as usual, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure to remember that the climate change industry is a complete hoax and that zero emissions businesses that are not performing at the top most level like Nikola should not be supported at any cost. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.